Dear friends in Christ, as we prepare for another observance of the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ this Christmas, I invite you to reflect on some of the characters as we travel the road to Bethlehem. Each character in the Christmas story, I believe, speaks to some real life issues that can help us along life's journey. The principal character in the Christian story, of course, is the one true living God, who motivated by amazing love, came to us at the first Christmas to restore creation, to restore meaning and purpose to humankind. This tells me that yes, God sees us, God gets us, God loves us, God is always near, and God will never forget us. That's important because on the road to Bethlehem, we meet Mary, the mother of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Her plight and vulnerability remind us that we all encounter hurdles and difficult situations in this life. And sometimes we may feel as if there are no immediate answers to our problems, no room in the inn. Sometimes we may have to settle for something less or sacrifice a little comfort. Yet like Mary, we do so trusting that God is with us, helping us work toward better conditions. Her story reminds us that God can use any route, any situation, to help us accomplish his purpose in our lives. Even so, like Joseph, we may have doubts and fears. Trusting God can bring with it many doubts and fears. Also, we dare not forget about Herod, who was rife with insecurity and taken up with his power. In life, we may encounter our insecurities and the poor intentions of others who may seek to undermine our dreams and our hope things get in the way. Yet, the shepherds teach us that even when we are in the dark, even when we are riddled with fear and terror and trepidation, when the future seems bleak and we are unsure of where to make the next step, God's light can break through. God's light still shines and it can show us a way forward. The shepherds stepped out in faith to meet the one who is the hope of the world. Yes, there can be light. There can be hope in dark times. Therefore, may we never forget that in the proclamation of Christmas, that on the road we also meet Christ born in Bethlehem. As the hymn writer so aptly and eloquently stated, the hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. Christ is our hope. Christ is the one who guides us through all the changing scenes of life. So at this time and every day, with angelic hosts, we can proclaim glory to God in the highest, peace on earth, and goodwill to all humankind. We proclaim that because Christ's light still shines to illuminate a darkened world and to give us hope. My prayer is that the light of the Christ child the child of Bethlehem will break into your world in a renewed and powerful way and with great hope this Christmas time and throughout the coming year. So on behalf of St. George's Episcopal Church, on behalf of my family and myself, I want to wish each and every one of you a merry and blessed Christmas and a hope-filled New Year.